traditions around and uh, here is a Mexican tradition that's been brought into Lake County by some neighbors in the uh, Mentor Garden Estates and Western Reserve Neighborhood Associations. Uh, at 6 o'clock tomorrow night they will line their driveways with candles and also all the sidewalks and then everyone will go out and light them at 6 o'clock lighting the way for the Christ Child, a Mexican tradition brought into Northeastern Ohio. So if you are around the 306 Ohio Street area and you'd like to see something awfully beautiful for Christmas, do take a ride through that neighborhood. I'm sure they'd be happy to welcome you into the neighborhood. And on our satellite map, we can see extensive cloudiness again in the southeast all the way through South Carolina and visible clouds in the Great Lakes area. On the national map, we see there is fog in the Pacific Northwest, some cloudy skies over the southern peninsula of Florida, and as we well know, snow extending from the northern plains through the upper Great Lakes, the lower Great Lakes, and out into the northeastern part of the New England states. Now, um, as far as travel advisory is concerned, very obviously around the Cleveland area and then also into western Pennsylvania where the dropping temperatures are causing the roads to freeze. And then they have some flurries and some snow squalls here in northeastern Ohio and also in western Pennsylvania, which is causing visibility to be very poor. The uh, layer of snow then over the freezing uh, roads is making driving very treacherous. So if you're going any place, make sure you give yourself a lot of time and please travel slowly. If you're worried about people who perhaps left the state of Ohio early this morning for that eastern coast, it looks as though western Pennsylvania, New York, Connecticut, and that area there is fairly clear. Just a few snowflakes expected. So we're the ones who are bearing the brunt of it. And the uh, Weather Bureau states that our snow flurries or our snow squalls ought to be ending or tapering between 9 and 10 o'clock tonight, although the flurries will continue through the night and this morning with one one to three inches expected for the Cleveland area, perhaps even more in the northeastern snow belt, all because of this cold front that went through the state today. Our high was 83 in San Bernardino, California, a low of 15 below in War Road, Minnesota. For the state of Ohio, it's hard to believe that because we're suffering, the whole state isn't, but believe it or not, they aren't. In fact, Toledo now is cloudy. The rest of the state in the southern part is reporting fair skies, uh, snow flurries extending just in the northeast all the way through Youngstown. Sun Sunset at 5.02, sunrise tomorrow at 7.52, Hopkins has 17, our dials have 29. Our humidity is 81%, our barometric pressure is 29.9. We have wind direction out of the north, northwest at 20 miles an hour. Uh, precipitation, about two inches of snow on the ground at Hopkins at 5 o'clock. And air pollution is 94, which is fair. Thanks to Wendy Halet, our uh, engineer for this electric Christmas tree. And as you can see, Traveler's Advisory, cold flurries, a low of 15 or lower, heavy squalls expected in the east and two to three inches by morning. For Friday, partly cloudy. Saturday, it looks like another chance of snow and a beautiful white Christmas, 37 degrees.